everyone, it is I, Last Jessie, and so today I'm going to do a basic makeup tips and trick type video. This is all stuff that I personally do. There's no rules to makeup. You do makeup however you want to, because it's your face, duh. This is my everyday look. Okay, I don't know if y'all really want to know about all the products I'm using, because you can literally get them all at Walmart. I get Maybelline Fit Me foundation and primer. This is the, or foundation and press powder. I don't have any more primer because I'm out. But if I do get primer, I get e.l.f. because I'm cheap. I'm a cheap hoe. I use the lightest shade, 110 porcelain, because Jesus, I'm pale. And I can't go outside because then I'll look like Mr. Krabs. I used to like dump this on my hand, but then I would get a bunch of crap on my hand. So what I do is I just get it on my finger and I do little dots. Like boop, boop, boop. Like three. I mean, you don't have to do dots, but I do dots. So you do you, baby boo. Now this is a MAC brush. It's like a round, really dense uh, brush. No clue what it's even called. The handle is all kinds of worn out because I've had this brush forever. Now what I like to do, and what I've learned works best for me, is instead of like doing lines, I work it in circles. And I work it into the hairline right here, like right up to the ear, to make sure you get all the coverage. And you do it in circles, so that way it blends really good and it's not all streaky. Now what I do is concealer. This is also Maybelline Fit Me 15 for fair, because I have fair skin. What I do, I have these crazy bags because I don't sleep. What I do is instead of going just like whoop, like a straight line, you're supposed to, you, well, not you're supposed to. I personally fan it out like this. Some people do like a straight up triangle, but I'm not that hardcore. is my own little gross blender thing. I got it from Five Below like forever ago and it is clean. I've washed it in the washing machine, I swear. But I got it from Five Below which is way better to me than spending $20 on a sponge because like I said, I'm very thrifty. This is a, this is like a five, free $5 sponge at Five Below. What I do is I get this little fat end and I punch myself in the face where I put the dots to blend them in like this. And then I take this this part and I just pat it around kind of to get it blended out. So bad news. I can't find my pressed powder anywhere. <laughs> so that's fun. I'm gonna try and use a color from this contour palette to just put it all over my face. So it looks like crap. It doesn't usually. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this color, pretend it's regular pressed powder, and you just put it in circles all over your face. I look shiny because this is a shimmer. It's a highlighter. I'm putting a highlighter all over my face. But that's fine. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Like I said, there's no rules. Whatever, if you wanna put a highlighter all over your face, freaking do it. Highlight the crap out of my nose. Why not? I look like a little kid man. <laughs> anyway, oh that's over and done with. Ignore the shininess of my face. Or like bask in it, whatever. Eyeshadow. I hope you think my Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon palette that my grandma got me. I'm not rich. My grandma's just awesome. So let's go for Bordeaux, which is this dark brown right here. I just do the dark first. And I just sweep it over the crease and a little bit down. See what I'm doing? I like that. And I bring it up in the middle because my eyelids are kind of weird. Like that. And I just like kind of fan it out. You know what I mean? Let's take this mocha. Right next to it is a medium brown color. And you just pat that on there. I've found, I've heard and I have discovered myself that patting on eyeshadow instead of swiping it gets more product, therefore more like pigment onto your eyelid. It's the dark-ish right here and then the medium. 
And now what I'm gonna do is take, let's actually go in with molasses chip. It's more of a shimmery shade, if you will. One girl, actually, I remember she told the teacher on me that my eyeliner was um, smudging or smearing or something. And it was the weirdest experience of my life. Like, I was right there in the classroom and she told this man teacher, Mr. Barron, who is awesome, you Gatesville homies know who I'm talking about, because I was in his class. Uh, she told Mr. Barron that my eyeliner was like smudged or smeared or something. And I know that she was talking about me because I was the only one wearing eyeliner. <laughs> and it was so weird. It's like, why though? I mean, yeah, we were all in like sixth grade, but it was still kind of weird to me. I know that she had said that because he was like, he said like out loud, I don't care if her eyeliner is smeared. And I was just like, right now I'm getting this little brush. So I'm taking this little brush and uh, putting it right here on the crease. It's I mean, freaking <laughs> uh, thingy right there. So just darken the crease. And then once you darken the crease, you can darken above it, like like so. Don't worry about that, I'll blend it. I'll blend it all out in a sec. Okay, now what I'm doing is just, I'm taking the brush up towards the edge and I'm just blurring that out a little bit. What I'm gonna do is actually go in with the mocha a little bit and just clean it up a little bit. And you know, just, it's all about blending and you know, just knowing your colors, girl. Or guy. I'm fine with guys that wear makeup. Did you see my video of me doing my boyfriend's makeup? He was feeling himself. <laughs> Love you, David. Okay, that's, okay, now let's do eyeliner. This is the fun part. So I'm using Maybelline Line Still Letter from New York. I use it because this is an eyeliner that my mom used to use on me. Hi, mom. And uh, I really like it. It works really well for me. Okay, so I'm gonna use the viewfinder on this part. So if it sucks, know that it doesn't usually suck. Okay, so what I do, it's just a basic line. And what you wanna do is pull sort of up and out instead of down. Whatever, that's the best it's gonna be right now. <sighs> so that's just a basic, no wing. Focus please, thank you. I just <laughs> I was shaking it and it flung out of my hand. Anyway, that's just basic, no wing, whatever. Now how I do the wing is a little complicated. I'm gonna look down here. What I do is I take a line from here to the corner of my eye and then I do that. Okay, so now, another thing I like to do, just to make my eyes look really big, is I line under my lashes, which is really hard to do. So this is more of a intermediate skill than a beginner skill. But be very careful to not get this in your eyeball because it will, one, hurt really bad because, you know, it's not meant to go in your eyeballs. I don't know why I'm doing that. And two, it looks really creepy. Now I don't go all the way. I just don't, I don't know why. And they're not gonna be perfect, who cares? I mean, if someone's really gonna come up to you and say, your eyeliner's uneven, just give, just like, give them this look. Just be like, okay, and I don't care. <laughs> I personally don't care. But if you really care about your eyeliner being even, then you're gonna have to spend a lot of time on it because it takes a lot for your eyeliner to be perfectly even. I hardly ever do it. Oh, mascara. It can be a pain in the butt. Some people run it up like this. Some people do it like this. I blink. You wanna know why I blink? I was watching America's Next Top Model a long time ago and Tyra Banks was doing the girl's makeup, I think. And this is how Tyra Banks was doing the girl's eyelash. I, I, this is how Tyra Banks was doing the girl's uh, mascara. So that is how I will and will evermore do my mascara. Uh, see how there's like a little, the really thin end right there? I take that and I go on the ends. And then for the bottoms, 
You can't blink. So I do this. There is a reason girls do that. We do that and it brings down our cheek flesh. So instead of us going boop, 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 right under our cheeks, we bring it down and it's not in the way. So we don't do that for no reason, boys. Or girls that judge. Okay, now everyone's favorite topic, eyebrows. And first, I brush out my brows, and they're looking very manly today. Okay, just brush them out, just to get them smooth. Wow, I have a lot of flyaways. <gasps> now what I use to fill in my brows is a pencil, eyebrow pencil, it's like a light brown, is I take a line, like there's this weird blank spot right here in my brows. I raise my eyebrows to get the skin smooth, and I draw a line all the way over here. And I draw a line on the top, all the way back, and I join it. And then I fill that in. And then what I did, the way I learned how to arch my eyebrows was also from the opera. I learned it because at first I was over exaggerating it. Ooh, that looks weird. I'll have to fix that. See that is like really fat right there, ignore that. But then I just kind of like decided to do less. Oh, from far away, it looks bomb though. So, I got big eyebrows. That's a trend. Hang on, I'll fix it. Now, um, you take your brush, and what I do is I soften this edge that I did with the brush so it kind of fades a little bit. And then I brush it out to make it look more natural instead of like, you know, pencil. Now, to fix this weird part that I did, we're gonna get our concealer, and we're just gonna conceal it. Don't feel it. Bring it in like that. Like that. And now, you blend that out. And of course, that lightens that whole side of my eyebrow, so I have to do that part all over again. Lip tips. Chapstick, wonderful to have. I don't think it really matters what kind of chapstick you have, as long as it's not tinted, I guess. So I have moisturizing chapstick. I learned this when I was on the dance team, that if you apply chapstick and you moisturize your lips first, it keeps the lipstick on longer. This is gonna be quite questionable what I'm about to do. Don't question it. I'm gonna take my brow pencil and use it as a lip liner because I don't have lip liner because I don't buy lip liner because I have my brow pencil. So what you do is you take it and just align your lip. And then you can also use the lip color to blend in the liner. So now that you have that on, you could either stop there or you could add lip gloss. I'm gonna add some lip gloss just to maybe blend out a bit of the, of the liner more. I suggest using lip liner instead of eyebrow pencil because I have to do this every time I use eyebrow pencil. Yeah, it just ain't worth it. This is um, stuff I stole from my mom years ago, so I don't even know if they still sell it. Hi, mom. That's all I can think. Wait, oh my glob, I forgot something. Okay, hang on. I can't believe I forgot this because I do it all the time. White pencil liner. Take that stuff, put it on your waterline because it makes your eyeballs look bigger. So those are some of my makeup tips. If I miss something, Leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll explain it to you. Or if you don't understand something, hit me up. I'll explain it to you. So it's really easy once you get the hang of it. Don't get discouraged if you don't get it right on the first try. I don't know how many, how many times I've totally flubbed up my eyeliner. And I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you all in the next one. But that is a tale for another time. Bye!